Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 14w18a. There are some minor tweaks and changes and some bug fixes as well. But there is one new almighty feature that has been added in this update. This was actually made by the Zip Crowd crew. They sent over some code to Dinnerbone and he decided to add it into the game which is awesome. Can you guess what this feature is? The slime block is now sticky and it will actually attach itself to other blocks around it when it's being moved by a piston. So let's power this. You can see the entire group of blocks gets moved and retracted as well, which is pretty damn cool. Now like with pistons, pistons can push 12 blocks in a row at once and that's exactly what they do with these sticky blocks. So if we add another one to this, now there's 12 of them at the moment, so that's the 13th block. It's not going to be able to push them and retract them as well. So if we remove one of those blocks, you'll see it will now push and retract again and remember that this block is sticky so the one above it gets attached to it as well so I decided to do some investigating and find out all of the different things about how this works and it seems like they pretty much work with very similar rules to how the piston works so a piston can push a rail across and pull it back like this as well and so can a rail that's attached to one of these slime blocks so it can push it across to the side um, but behold when we move it back it's also going to move this one back as well um, so it breaks off the rail but it can actually move it back now they don't interchange which means this one is attached to that one and then this one is sticking to that one as well but because the piston moves this block it's only going to uh, then move this one as well so it pushes all of them across but when we retract it you'll see it only pulls back this one right here and then if we were to attach them like this going all the way across and we'll have to remove a couple because there's more than 12 you can see uh, it works like that as well. So they chain together when the slime blocks are next to one another. Now like with pistons they can't push um, the obsidian or the furnaces so the slime blocks can't move them back and forth as well. They also attach themselves to half slabs like this which is pretty cool. You can see there's a couple of visual glitches, uh, visual glitches with using these things as well. They will also attach themselves to gravity blocks however those blocks are going to uh, fall down so there we go, the gravel falls down after it's moved. Now we've got some redstone, a repeater, all of these things would break when you push them with a piston and guess what, they break when you use them with these slime blocks as well. Um, then over here we have a extended piston, you'll see we won't be able to pull that back just like with pistons and then last of all we have a regular piston which doesn't uh, pull the sticky piston, so pull the slime block back because all of the other ones we have been using are sticky pistons. So there is another feature with the slime blocks, I'm not sure if this one was actually added in this update, but if you stand on top of it with a piston underneath it and then power the piston, you get thrown up into the air like that, which is pretty cool. So when playing around with this new feature, I also found a way to duplicate blocks, which is obviously a bug. If you right click on the side of a moving slime block, and it might take a moment to get the timing right. Oh, and there we go, you can see we have duplicated a block. So that's just about everything I've been able to learn about these blocks so far. There are also a lot of bug fixes, two of which I thought were worth mentioning. You can now place these torches on top of stained glass. You couldn't do that previously, it was only regular glass you could place it on. And also the creeper now stands directly on top of the ground. Previously they would be very slightly above the ground. That is a bug that has been around for a very long time. And finally it is fixed. Now as of right now I'm excited to go and play around with these new blocks you'll probably see another video from me later in the day showing off some things because there are going to be a whole bunch of new things being made with these blocks but that is it for me with this snapshot video so as always thank you very much for watching and i will catch you next time